Godzilla Minus One Trailer Review Having seen how much money the American Godzilla movies have made, Japanese studio Toho decided to make their own computerized Godzilla with enhanced facial movements. This actress shows just why Japanese live-action films feature the worst human acting anywhere on the planet. She was told to react to an invisible Godzilla, but her reaction does not match what we are shown on the screen. Her reaction is impossible to believe. Godzilla is not only coming in her direction, he's staring right at her. Her reaction should not be wondering, is that Godzilla? as an intellectual exercise. Instead, it would be more like, do I go left or right fleeing this giant monster, which I can clearly see is coming right for me, as death is staring me in the face. Godzilla's method of attacking humanity doesn't seem very effective. Why doesn't he go after power plants or oil refineries? YouTubers seem very impressed with Godzilla deliberately stomping on civilians forgetting that this already took place in the 1976 version of King Kong. The rest of the footage from the trailer hints that Japan is a victim of World War II, that they were just victims of circumstance in a general warlike atmosphere. Today's generation has no idea that the greatest slaughter in the Pacific theater during World War II took place after Imperial Japan had already conquered and disarmed their fellow Asians. That's when the real killing started, as their occupying soldiers gleefully murdered civilians in Nanking, in Singapore, and in Manila, the capital of the Philippines. The Japanese military even concocted plagues and dropped them on enemy capitals with the notion that they would simply settle these islands after the plague had cleared and the original residents had been exterminated. These are the things that Japanese schoolchildren have never been taught in the classroom. Their history has been cleaned up and sanitized. If you want to learn about what happened in Japan, I would recommend William Manchester's American Caesar, his classic biography of American General Douglas MacArthur, with chapters on the rebuilding of Japan, as well as the more recent Killing the Rising Sun by Martin Dugard and Bill O'Reilly. Apologies for straying from the trailer, because I really wanted to mention how I loved the Godzilla movies with human actors in rubber suits, such as the man who starred in 12 such movies, Haruo Nakajima, a actor and stuntman who played Godzilla during the classic era. We have gotten away from the humanity of Godzilla by replacing him with computer graphics. And no matter how accurate the computer graphics can animate Godzilla's face, I believe that actors like Nakajima conveyed more emotion than any computer program ever could. The only part of this trailer that I like is at the very end. Godzilla's traditional roar is something that has been missing from Godzilla movies as of late. By replacing human actors in rubber costumes with computer graphics, something has been lost. Thank you.